Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with another random video. So welcome to the update, the, the recap of what happens in the end of the mod. Um, so, in case you missed the last little bit weirdness of the video, um, the game is softlocked for me. The mod is softlocked. Um, I can't progress. Um, I'm at the point where I was going, getting close to fighting Mandalore, and the game won't let me progress. I open a door, step through it, the game crashes, and that's it. I tried everything under the sun to get past it. I found a forum online that gave me a step-by-step -step guide to maybe solving it, a possible solution. However, I'm not a modder, and I don't know what it's referring to for a lot of the steps in that, and so we're just sort of stuck, okay? So, I looked up the ending of the mod, because I felt bad that... So, uh, okay, l l let me back up. So, the thing is, I didn't want to just abandon the playthrough. And so, what I did is I decided that I was going to give you a, a plan at the very beginning of the last part. I was going to show you the footage of what I had, and then I was going to make this video. And so that and this video was going to recap what happens in the mod, because the plan is off-camera, I'm going to play through the game again. I'm going to blitzkrieg through, through the game again, and I'm going to get to the point before we could start the mod, and we're going to finish the game. Just so that way I don't leave the playthrough unfinished, because I can't stand it. So that's the plan. It, I, I am super angry about it. I'm a little less angry than I was because it's been a bit since all of this happened. It's been maybe an hour. So I found a playthrough online talking about showing the playthrough of the mod. Now, I didn't like his playthrough. He's very long-winded. He would sit on a, on a cutscene and just rip everything that happened in it to pieces. So I didn't like the playthrough. I was skimming his playthrough just to see what happened in the story. So this is not going to be a very intensive recap. I'm just sitting on the screen to have a good background. Okay, but basically what happens is um, you do fight Mandalore in a one-on-one -on -one fight. You fight your way up to him and you have a basically a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, obviously, you do win. Um, now I, there was, it was so many parts. His parts were like 30 minutes a piece and he had like a hundred. And so like of the whole mod. And so it was a lot to skim through to get to the, what actually happens. Um, but that, that whole sequence was obviously a flashback sequence. Um, I did discover that apparently there's more flashback sequences than even what than even more than what we saw or what you're required to play. Apparently, there's quite a few that if you're in the Ebon Hawk, you can talk to, Sh to Shadow, and she'll just tell you about everything that happened. Um, there's more flashback sequences, just because obviously they're the best part of the mod, so... Uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, so, you know, just in case you wanted more for some reason, um, you can do more. Now, so obviously the flashback sequence ends, and you wake up. Now, Shadow is obviously work on, working on being manipulated by Solomon, who says that we just, that, who says that, that her following Revan was all complete manipulation. As it turns out, that's all horseshit. That's just what he told himself to cope with the fact that Shadow chose to leave him. So and that's looking like what the actual case is. Um, so Revan is in prison, and it turns out with Mechanic, actually, from the Orion. Um, he's in prison with them and Kobayashi. Uh, you, for a while, you play as the droid, and you break Revan and Kobayashi and the Mechanic out of prison. Um, eventually, you... Uh, there, was, there was so much that happened. Um, then, you, I think it was after that that you go and confront Solomon. You fight him, defeat him... And then you save Shadow and stop her from being possessed by this guy and getting her power absorbed and all that shit. Um, and you check that he's dead. He, You guys are having this dialogue. He comes back to life, even though he literally was dead. He stabs Kobayashi. It looks to be fatal, and he, but he, he barely survives or whatever. Um, Shadow is super upset about it. Um, then, uh, you fight him, I, I think it was in that instance that you fight him through every major area you were in, like, you fight him in the spot where you fought Mandalore, you fought him in the spot where you defeated the, the ghost guy, the ghost bad guy originally, you fight him in the council room, you, you go back and you fight him, like, five, four or five times in a row. Um, which is insanity. And then at some point, I think uh, you also defeated like an army of his followers at some point in that period to rescue Shadow, I believe. Um, so there was a lot happening there. Um, oh my god, what else happened? Uh, there's maybe one more flashback sequence? I don't remember at that point. But, but at some point, um, Shadow goes off and faces Solomon alone while... Revan and, and Kobayashi's being carried around because he's basically most mostly dead and and mechanic and everybody and you're like creeping through his temple and stuff um, with the droid 
Um, and then Shadow, like, basically redeems Solomon, like, at the end. She basically redeems him to the light side, and she was in, in the cutscene, she's, like, arguing the light side, and the guy's playthrough that I was watching was already kind of jumbled, like, there was big jumps in it, and suddenly you're like, what the fuck just happened? And he doesn't explain what happened, like, suddenly you're in a new part of the noob area, and he doesn't explain why. So, very confusing, which, so that, so that didn't help. Um, but basically, uh, for some reason she's arguing the light side and giving him the same lines of dialogue and a lot of it that he gave to her on Terrace. But uh, there's, I don't understand why, but he, she basically redeems him to the light side. He gives his life to r revive Kobayashi somehow. So Kobayashi survives. Shadow leaves Revan for the Orion with the mechanic and uh, Kobayashi, and they, they probably, I imagine, hit it off and have a relationship, because it kind of felt like that's what it was pushing towards. Um, and she leaves Revan, and she decides to take on the identity of Sarah, that she was on the Orion, as permanent, and she decides to just do that instead, and that's it. <laughs> So it's 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 awful basically. It's it's awful. She goes she goes way more light side than dark side and leaves you. So she so it's it's awful. <laughs> so it ends it ends terribly. It ends basically worst case scenario. And uh, and I, I would have hated it. I would have hated it to, to play through it. The bo all those fights, watching the boss fights look they looked really hard, especially fighting Solomon like five times or whatever it was. Um, so it goes on way too long. I felt like a lot of the flashback sequences were basically just fluff. Just, I mean, some of them were very interesting. Like, some of them I was really invested in, you know? Like, the flashback when Bastila and the team attack Revan and... And, uh, and then some, some of Shadow's backstory was neat, some of them not so much. Watching the end, I feel like you fight too many fights, like too many boss fights. The boss fights in general are too hard, in my opinion. Like, suddenly the difficulty is, like, ramped up by a thousand. I can't imagine what it would be like playing it on a harder difficulty. Um... And it's just, it's hard. Like, I think the, the mod, I think, is too long for the story content in there. I think some of the ideas were interesting, but I think it ends up being a slog. Because it's so long, and there's so many enemies that you're just cutting through like grass. And then just to, suddenly you'll hit a wall, and it's hard as shit. And so, that's basically what happens. Uh, this was not the ending that I wanted for all of this, obviously. Um, and we're, the intent to look at the game's not over yet, because I have to now play through the whole freaking game again. So, like I said, I'm gonna absolutely cheat, and I'm gonna, like, power level myself, and right in the beginning of the game, I'm gonna go right to each star map and just knock out the game very fast. And I'll probably power talk through conversations with everybody, just to see if anything's different, um, conversation-wise. But otherwise, I imagine most things will be basically the same. So, yeah, um, and there'll be, and I'm not hitting side stuff. I'm just gonna go right to every, to the objective every time, and I'm just gonna cut through anything in my path, so. That's gonna be the plan, and, uh, yeah, gotta say, pretty damn not happy with how this all ended out. And, uh, and uh, but honestly, it's kind of a mixed bag, because it almost, I can't tell if I would have been happier to play through it and experience it, and then been angry that the way it ended, because it, it ended like shit, which was my, which was my fear. It ended like shit, and it, and which was a big fear of mine. Um, and, you know, so I super hate that, or I can't tell if it's better to do it this way, and having to see it, like, just sort of skim it, see basically what they were gonna do, realize it would have pissed me off, so I can't tell if I lucked out, or if this, or if it's worse or better this way. In some ways, I lean towards it's better, because at least I didn't play through all of that difficulty myself. And, uh, but on the flip side, of course, this is super haggard. This is a really shit way to end this playthrough when, you know, like, uh, I have to do a recap video and an announcement in the beginning of the last part, and then, but when we come back, I'll, we'll be back and just finish the game, the ending stretch, like, of the regular, of the regular game after I had to play through it again off camera. Like, it's such shit. It's so shitty. And, uh, and I'm sorry about that, but of course, I had no control over the game soft locking. I have no vote or say in that. Um, so I'm really sorry, but obviously that's not what I wanted. So I can tell you that uh, this whole experience has soured me on Coder quite a bit. Um, I don't no idea when Coder 2 Season 2 will happen, but it won't be for a while. Because the concept of modding another Coder and playing through it again and hoping I don't get locked into something I have that goes horribly wrong, like in this case, will be very, very bad. And uh, so I, I, uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know, and maybe I could have avoided some of this if I had done more saves and not had one save going. If I had had, let's say, maybe five saves or three saves or hell, even two saves. And if one of them had been before we started the mod, like 
maybe I could have saved it, you know? And in hindsight, maybe I should have. Um, but I'm not, I haven't done modded stuff on my channel before. And, I, and I've done some modded stuff for me. I've done like modded playthroughs of Fallout 4, uh, a couple of them, and I've done uh, modded Skyrim. Um, but to be honest, they worked really well. Like there wasn't very many crashes, generally speaking. Um, I, I, you know, I don't put, I, I put quite a few mods, especially in Fallout and Skyrim's case, but, like, they tended to work really well. Like, there, there was crashes, but not, like, soft lock the game, can't progress kind of crashes. Like, you know, not like that, so... Anyway, so I'm really sorry how this all turned out. It, it felt, what a train wreck, but obviously, I didn't have a, I didn't have a say, or a vote, so... It is what it is. Um, anyway, so when we come back... Uh, we'll just be in the in the in the home stretch and uh, my armor will look different because I won't have Revan's robes and My build will probably be much better because I'm going to spec myself differently than I did this time And so that'll be different and uh, We're gonna power through the game and hopefully in a few hours worth. I will have I'll we'll be back to where we were and uh, Yeah, really sorry about that um, and then whatever we finish coder will be jumping into something very very different I don't know what it is yet, but it will be different uh, Anyway, so that's gonna call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we'll talk to you guys later Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet <laughs> Fair, You go first He's like, I think it's clear man. You're good as the great Bob Ross would say what a happy accident Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> oh, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> that was so perfect.